Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Police will today visit the embattled Gleblins and Chatsworth's hostel in Kwasudu Natal. This follows allegations heard in the Murana Commission of Inquiry. The commission sought to look into political killings in the Kwasudu Natal province. The probe saw the Gleblins' hostels in Umlazi feature prominently, with at least 77 people being killed since March 2014. On Monday, three men were gunned down at Gleblins. ANN 7 reporter Patisa Mfuyo joins us live. Patisa, a very good morning. What exactly has uh, taken place, at least at this point? Has the Portfolio Committee arrived? Uh, well, the, the Portfolio Committee just made its way through here at the Chatsworth Police Station. They've just arrived. Uh, but uh, they've been doing rounds uh, around KwaZulu-Natal. We started in Richards Bay on Monday, where they did a walkabout at the police station and also trying to, to find out what are the challenges that the police uh, were facing. Uh, from there, they moved to Nongoma on Tuesday, where they were looking at issues around rural policing. Uh, yesterday, they were in Peter Maritzburg, where they they were looking at the public order policing. So they have been making rounds in and around Guazulu Natal. But uh, today they are here. They've called on the acting national police commissioner for an urgent meeting today to talk about some issues uh, and some findings that they found here in Guazulu Natal. The issue of lack of resources. And they found that at least two out of three police stations they've visited are operating at 50, at below 50% capacity. There is lack of cars, there is lack of resources. So so those are some of the issues that they expect the acting police commissioner to, to answer on. So uh, later today, we'll be moving to Umlazi, where they'll be visiting Glebelands. We know that Glebelands, at about uh, uh, two weeks ago, there was a Moerane commission where they were talking about where Vanessa Baker gave testimony saying that the hitmen, are, which, which are responsible for the political killings in and around KwaZulu Natal, are from Glebelands. Uh, at least 89 people, according to Vanessa Baker, have been killed at Glebelands just this week on Monday. There were three people that were shot uh, in, in, in Glebelands. So those are some of the issues that uh, they'll be going to uh, going to the bottom of today, trying to get clarity on some issues and also trying to sort out the issue of policing here in Guazulu Natal. Mm -hmm. Now, Patisa, I don't know if they've made mention of the very pertinent question of where these hitmen find their weapons, because there's allegations that they're being supplied by some cops. Yes, uh, of course, uh, that's what Vanessa Baker was saying uh, during a testimony about two weeks ago during the, the Commission on Political Killings, saying that there is a policeman who is from Umlazi who used to reside at Glib. Uh, she claims that that, police, that policeman is responsible uh, for supplying weapons at, at, at Glib. So those are some of the issues that as I was talking to the chairperson of the, of the Parliamentary Committee, Francois, on Monday. I uh, said that those are the issues that they expect that the police to give a report back. That report back, I think, is expected tomorrow, where out of the 89 cases that we have at Glebelands, the police are supposed to give a breakdown of each case, of what has happened in each case, and if there have been any convictions. So the IP will also be giving a report tomorrow also on some of the allegations around police. So it they, they've covered all the aspects when it comes to policing. I know that the Hawks will also have a report tomorrow where they'll be talking about uh, the, the break-in which just happened at, uh, at the Hawks head office, so that's some of the issues that would be that the committee will be dealing with this week here in Guazulu Natal. Mm -hmm. And then, just in closing, those community members around there I mean, we've just had the latest killings now. How are they after this with everything that continues to happen, the violence? Uh, well, uh, as that's why they're visiting Glebelands today. They want to see for themselves. Remember, they've been in Parliament. They, they've never been to Glib. They don't know what the area is about. So they'll be visiting Glebelands today. They'll be doing a tour. They'll be going to Umlazi Police Station. Remember, Umlazi has been at the center of some of the uh, of the violence that has been happening at Glebelands. So they want to go and visit the police station, speak to the police, and find out exactly what exactly is happening uh, in that area. So it's one of the things that they say that it's unacceptable that people 
people are dying every day. The three people that were shot on Monday, luckily they, those three didn't die. Uh, they just uh, sustained injuries. So, But still, they're saying that it's important that for them that they get to the bottom of this and ensure that there's peace, there's peace and stability here in KwaZulu-Natal. But also, with all that, uh, they need to ensure that the police have enough resources to deal with such incidents, uh, which is the issue of looking into cars, that the, the detectives don't have enough cars. So those are some of the issues to, to find out from the police what's stopping them from doing their jobs properly, which is why they're here today to address all those issues to ensure that there is peace going forward in the province. No, thank you very much. That's Patti Samfuyo, who joins us live from Cleveland, where the Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Police are looking to rather are having a site visit at the embattled uh, Cleveland's hostel today.